Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some amazing projects using ESP32. So let's get started. A huge shout out to Altium and JLCPCB for sponsoring this video. Number 12. This is the smallest ESP32 based IoT button. It can be used for various home automation applications. Consider this communication between two Pico clicks. The one on the left acts as an IoT device and the other a receiver. It flashes a green LED if the second device is powered on. Otherwise, it flashes a red LED. It can also be used for communicating with other devices like an OLED display, flight sensor, or a matrix display. Here, it is used to send motion values from one Pico click to another and visualize them on an OLED display. Number 11. Our next project is a do-it-yourself version of the famous Edith glasses. To solve the optics problem, Ravi put the OLED parallel to the glass rim. A mirror is glued at a 60 degrees angle that reflects the image from OLED. A magnifying lens again reflects the image directly to the person's eye. Touch sensors are provided on the PCB to toggle between the apps. So whether you want to look at the date, time, or any important notification, you don't have to pick up your phone for it. Just tap on the sensor and you will get every detail on the tiny OLED display. Number 10. Watches are available in various shapes and designs, but making one using this round display would be interesting, right? It requires a real-time clock module to display the time, the complete display is a large sprite of resolution 240 by 240, so no flickering occurs in the display. The gauge for seconds and the day moves continuously in the display. The red dot moves in the opposite direction just to confuse the person viewing the time. Right now the project is made on a breadboard, but by adding a couple of features to it on a custom PCB, this watch can turn into a pretty good smartwatch. Number 9. It's pretty easy to buy a security camera and use it to secure your house, but why not cut the cost and make one yourself? In this project, Eric uses multiple ESP32 cameras and an old Android tablet to make a security camera. He installed the ESP32 camera in a fake camera frame to make it more realistic. Using an application, the output of all the cameras can be viewed on a single screen. Each camera has a unique IP address, which upon entering on the tablet lets you see the captured feed. Each video screen on the tablet is recorded separately and saved as an individual video clip. Altium is a PCB design software that is both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs to anyone from anywhere with a single click. And to convert these designs to real-life PCB boards, look no further than JLC PCB. They provide all types of PCB services and assembly at very competitive prices. Their high-quality PCBs, accompanied by quick delivery and great customer service make them the perfect partner for your electronics projects. Check out the link in the description below to find out more about Altium Designer and JLC PCB. Number 8. Our next project is a 3D printed model train setup. It is controlled via an ESP32 cam wirelessly through a smartphone. The camera is mounted in the very front of the train, allowing one to watch a live stream of its progress about the tracks. The eye-catching feature of this train is the smoke effect. For this, a small water atomizer is fitted in the train's chimney, which makes the train look a little bit more authentic. It even has a lantern on the front, which gives it an amazing look while running at night. Number 7. Want to keep a track of the temperature conditions inside and outside of our house? Then use this e-paper display-based weather station. It has an SHT30 sensor inside it that senses the temperature and humidity of the ambient. 
While to keep a track of the weather conditions outside of the house, it relies on Open Weather API. The screen remains off most of the time. The weather data updates in every 10 minutes, and the display holds this last refreshed image. In this way, the weather station maximizes the battery life. Number 6. Our next project is a solar power monitored system that keeps a track of the parameters like solar panel voltage, temperature, and light intensity. The real-time data can be viewed on an LCD screen, but if you have an internet connection, you can view the data graphically on a ThingSpeak server from any part of the world. The data on the dashboard is updated every 15 seconds. The sensors are connected to the ADC pins while the display is connected to the I2C pins of the ESP32. To view the data on the dashboard, you need to create a channel and generate an API key. Number 5. If you're watching a movie or playing video games at your home and someone rings your doorbell, then we know how hard it becomes to check that. But with the smart doorbell, you will know who's at the door without even getting up from your place. When someone rings the doorbell, the camera captures the image of the person standing outside and sends it directly to your smartphone. From there, you can either allow the person to let in or ignore them. Now this is the perfect way to make the annoying people wait a little longer at the door. Number 4. Our next project is a two-in-one door locking system. To enter the premises, you can either use the RFID mode or the PIN code mode. On pressing button A, the PIN code mode gets activated and upon entering the correct PIN, the door gets unlocked. To switch to the RFID mode, press button B. When the registered user scans the tag, the door opens and the data gets recorded on the Google Sheet. On the other side of the door, if you need to come out, you just need to hover your hand over the proximity sensor and the door gets opened. Interesting, right? Number 3. You might prefer listening to the radio using FM, but have you ever tried it using the internet? In this project, Volos used a TTGO T display to tune into different radio stations. I don't know about you, but I feel the display connects to the internet and shows the IP address gain and the current selected radio station. The radio stations can be changed via inbuilt push buttons, while the button on the side changes the brightness of the display. The breadboard has a couple more extra features like the day and night modes for the display. Number 2. If you're looking for ways to turn your home into a smart home, then try this project. This is a touchscreen remote through which you can control the status of various home appliances in your house. The interface of the display is simple, just an on-off tap switch controlling a particular load. To make this, you will need a TFT touchscreen display, an ESP32 module, a rechargeable battery, and a battery charging module. You will require two authentication tokens in the code which is used to control the appliances of two different rooms. What are your thoughts on this build? Number 1. If you want to build a portable surveillance robot for your house, then this is the project for you. The chassis for this robot is 3D printed. The tracks at the bottom provide better traction and let the robot run smoothly on rough terrain without getting stuck. Two servo motors give the pan and tilt movement to the camera to capture the events in every direction. The movement of the robot is controlled via a smartphone on a local network. It also shows the live stream from the camera and has separate controls for the camera and the movement of the track. So these were some of the projects you can try using ESP32. Comment below which you love the most. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye.